Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those who do not know, my name is Ali and I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'm going to bring you some stock analysis and a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, so a quick recap of the previous video where we did um, an update on tick symbol ABML, American Battery Metals. We saw on, on close of play on Friday, this was up a very positive uh, 19.77% at $2.12 and I think on the week it was up in excess of 36% um, however obviously from since February we, we are aware that this has, has come down from the, from the overall high of $4.08 uh, however the news that we saw in terms of the Nasdaq the impact of that and the catalysts that were revealed in the v previous video certainly look look very promising for this stock so please refer back to the previous video for american battery metals okay so today's stock analysis is for tosa therapeutics to symbol atos this is a stock that i did feature previously in the channel and if we have a look at the uh, chart here for close of play on friday we can see that it was up in excess of um, um, Let's just have a quick look it was up in excess of 11 percent on the week at uh, closing on friday just down below 1% at $3.23. However, we can see on the month, this has been up uh, in excess of 90%. Um, it has uh, been affected by the market conditions since February, um, but there is some breaking news. So let, let's have a look at, first of all, the overall chart for this stock. Okay, so if we have a look at the chart here, which is uh, the six months chart, we can see uh, when this, when I previously brought you this stock, it did reach uh, an all-time high, well in excess of four dollars, and there was a very strong bullish movement there. However, since uh, that all-time high, market conditions have not been favourable for most um, EV stocks, most penny stocks, and most clean energy stocks. And we can see that it, uh, Atosa Therapeutics was also affected by market conditions. However, if you have a look at the chart there. And you'll see the highlighted date there, April the 19th, 2021. So this is where we saw a little bit of a change in momentum for this stock. And right now we can see from that April 19th, 2021, where it reached a price of $1.52, there has been probably more or less a 100% turnaround there from, from that price. So from $1.52, it's now reached uh, a price of... Um, three dollars and 23 so what is the reason for this and what are they let's have a, a quick recap of atosa therapeutics and what kind of company they are so a quick recap here about atosa therapeutics we can see here it's a drug development company founded in 2008 and it has somewhere between 5 and 15 employees but the two major streams to this business first of all is uh, with regards to breast cancer uh, they have a drug that's recently been uh, finished in terms of phase two trials, and this was successful. Uh, it's uh, with regard to an antigen receptor therapy for breast cancer treatment. So very positive news that we have had on that previously. Obviously, it's now going towards phase uh, three, and uh, providing there is positive news there, that's a huge, huge catalyst for the future. Uh, the other thing that is very important with regard to this stock is the COVID-19 side of it where we're looking at COVID-19 recovery and ATH201 specifically targets at long-term lung functions uh, for COVID-19 patients. So let's now move over to the website. Okay so if we look at the, uh, the Tulsa Therapeutics website here we can see the key headline that they've announced here is that Tulsa Therapeutics announces its first quarter 2021 financial results and provides a corporate update. So that's positive news. We are going to look at that shortly. But what we can also see here is just a summary and a reminder of what kind of company they are. They are trading on the NASDAQ. It's a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company uh, seeking to discover and develop uh, innovative medicines in oncology and infectious disease with a current focus on breast cancer and also COVID-19 today. So obviously the financial results, we're gonna have a look at them shortly. Okay, so before we look at the financial results and also some breaking news, which I'm gonna update you uh, shortly with regard to this stock, and also I'm gonna share some important dates for you as well. Uh, so before we do that, let's share the key developments from the 
uh, first quarter 2021 results. So these are, uh, if you see, if you just have a look at the screen there, I'll summarise them for you. Uh, Atosa have conclu has concluded its phase two clinical study of um, uh, endoxaphine administered in the window of opportunity between diagnosis of breast cancer and surgery and based on positive results, allowing acceleration of the endoxaphine program in the United States. So good news there in terms of uh, the phase two trials. So this is now going to move towards phase three. After phase three, then we what we have then is FDA approval, fingers crossed. After FDA approval, then we also have generation of revenue. So in terms of investors and in terms of the stock that and the, the company, that's exactly what we are looking for in terms of growth. Uh, second point here, uh, they have announced um, following 24 months of expanded access, single patient study of endoxin breast cancer, the patients in the study had no cancer recurrence, very, very positive news. And also very important is there was no si significant side effects or no side effects. Endoxin did not cause any other safety and tolerability conditions in the patients in, its, in terms of uh, the phase two. Uh, so they have received a safe to proceed letter uh, under, under the expanded access pathway from the FDA, permitting the use of atosis oral induction as a treatment in an ovarian cancer patient, and that has begun. So um, good news there. In terms of the final results from its phase one double-blinded uh, randomized placebo-controlled clinical study using atosis proprietary drug candidate AT301, administered in terms of the nasal spray, this was considered to be safe and well tolerated in male and female participants uh, in the study at different dose levels over 14 days. So it's being developed for at home use for patients recently diagnosed with COVID-19. So I personally see this as a long term uh, revenue generating scheme. Uh, and um, in terms of this spray, I think this is something that is going to be in huge, huge demand. And the reason for that, I think. COVID is not going away. I think it's going to be here certainly for the next few years. Uh, however, it will be under control. I think it will. I think economies and businesses will reopen. However, uh, treatments for it will be still be needed. Um, vaccines will still be needed. And a total is, is certainly in the, in the right place uh, in terms of this nasal spray to go forward with that. And then finally, we can see that the key headline here that they've shared with us that uh, in terms of financial transactions, they have $136 million beginning at uh, the beginning of December 2020 in terms of uh, cash. So that's a very positive sign as well. OK, so let's have a look at the balance sheet that was released for the first quarter. Please bear in mind that at the moment this is a penny stock and they do not currently have uh, revenue generation. So there will not be any figures reported in terms of uh, profit. OK, so in terms of the balance sheet, first of all, we can see uh, for first headline I'd like to share with you is the assets. So as of 31st of December 2020, the assets were just in excess of $42 million. So in terms of right now, the most recent figures as at March 31st, 2021, the assets have probably increased by more than 300% and we can see the figure now is in excess of $141 million. So a huge, huge positive news here in terms of uh, the company being a lot more cash rich. Uh, they have more than tripled that. So that's a very, very good sign. And right at the very bottom is the figure for liabilities. As at December 31st, 2020, the liabilities were in excess of $15 million. So the company at that time were not in a great position. They were at risk of uh, not being able to continue because of high debt, high liabilities. This includes um, overdrafts, loans, expenses, accounts payable, accrued expenses, uh, payroll liabilities, etc. However, if we look at the more recent figure, March 31st, 2021, we can see that this has gone down from in excess of 15 million to just over $1 million. So the company we can basically say is virtually uh, debt free. So from an assets point of view, $141 million to a debt of just over $1 million. So certainly no, no issues there in terms of the company being at risk. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to share with you is a news article from PR Newswire dated May the 21st, 2021. So the headline here is the physician and scientist Dr. Stephen 
Kui is to brief the US Congress on his research investigating the origin of the COVID-19 pandemic. So the reason why this is important for us is Dr. Stephen Kui is the CEO of Atosa Therapeutics. So he's been asked to brief uh, the US Congress uh, on Monday, May the 24th. So it's a very important date for our diaries. Uh, the reason why this is important for our stock is obviously Dr. Stephen Kui is the CEO of Atosa Therapeutics. So it's important for us in terms of what he says. There could be some breaking news. There could be something very positive in terms of uh, his findings and how the pandemic or originated and also how it could be treated. So just an important thing to be aware of. Okay, so what I'd like to share with you now is a technical analysis of the stock. So we're going to use chart mill here. First of all, the technical rating on the left hand side, we can see here the overall technical rating is 8 out of 10. So that's very good in terms of the short and the medium term for this stock. Uh, so the key headlines here, first of all, in the green, we can see that Atos is one of the better performing stocks in the drugs industry, outperforming 78% of the 771 stocks in the same industry. So some good news there. In the previous month, um, Atos has traded between $1.75 to $3.42, so that's quite wide. Uh, however, right now it is trading nearer the high of that. So obviously this is still a volatile penny stock that comes with risk. In terms of volume, it's considerably higher in the uh, last couple of days, which uh, obviously uh, indicates that a movement has been going up. So that's good news there. So let's have a look at the middle column in terms of support and resistance of so the support. Uh, is around $1.70. Resistance right now is close to $3.75. And then finally, this is the bad news. In terms of the setup analysis, uh, we have a score of three. So what does that mean? So first of all, although it has a very good technical rating, it does not right now represent a good entry point. According to this analysis, price movement has been a little bit volatile in terms of finding a good entry point right now. So it's a good idea to wait for consolidation first. So we'll look at an entry point shortly. Okay, so I'd like to now finish off by looking at the um, analyst rating. So we can see the overall consensus here is a 90% buy. So it's analyzed by two analysts and the buy percentage consensus is at 90. So it certainly seems to be confident uh, in terms of going forward and the long term for this. So the overall rating is, is a buy. So in the previous month, it was similar. However, the, the one thing that you need to bear in mind that because only two analysts have rated this, uh, the, uh, an average opinion is, is a little bit weaker on this. However, certainly a good sign from the two analysts that have looked at this stock. Okay, so let's finish off by looking at possible entry price for uh, Atosa Therapeutics. So certainly if you are looking to invest in this stock, we can see on, on the previous week of trading, it was up in excess of 11%. In the previous month, it's up in excess of 90%. So the close price on the Friday was $3.23. So as we know, it is volatile. There is possibly going to be a pullback, difficult to say. However, if there is a pullback in this stock, certainly consider an entry price below $2.70. So if you can catch this with a pullback at $2.70 going forward for the long term, and with the possible FDA uh, phase three positive results coming forward, that will be an excellent entry point. Okay, so due to an extended stock analysis, the next trading lesson will be in the next video. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that helps and please stay tuned.